guys welcome into another video today I want to be showcasing something I got head tracking for only ten dollars and I know that a lot of us play Star Citizen on a budget so I wanted to make a video showing you guys this value real quick so what I have here is an app called smooth track and open track smooth track is the software that you're going to need for your phone and open track is what you're going to need, going to need for your computer you can buy Smooth Track on the Android App Store and, and the Apple App Store. And while it's not natively supported, it does use the Track IR pretty much inputs in the game. So once you download the app and you get it set up, and I'll leave a link to the videos that I watch on how to get it set up in the description. Oh God, that's ballistics. And it's so nice because you can kind of keep your eyes on your target. Oh god, be sync. It's nice like if you're doing any type of combat, it just allows you that extra uh, bit of control from what I find. And if you fly with sticks and pedals, then you're really going to find this uh, very intuitive. As far as the inputs go, I only have the right, left, up, and down axis on here. There is, uh, once you get the app installed, there's going to be a few axes that you can control on your, there's actually six of them that you can control just like in the game as far as your ship movement goes um, that you can control. The only one that I don't have mapped is the Z-axis and that's the one that controls whether you go forward and back. Um, from what I find uh, using this app, the forward and back can sometimes throw off your your alignment if you're, if you're moving forward and backwards a lot. So I don't have that one mapped. And as far as the in-game controls, um, I do have it to where I can still look around while I'm in menu, you know, which is very useful because sometimes I have a bad habit of flying decoupled while looking down at the ground and I can quickly get out of the menu if I'm at this point and, and not crashing anything. So it's, it's very useful. Now you're going to come over this to this screen right here, your comms, uh, FOIP and head tracking. And like, as I said earlier in the video, what you want to select here is the track IR. You're going to have. Um, a few sources, but you're going to want to use this one right here, the track IR. And then, um, the only one that I changed is to disable it during FPS because it does kind of like mess you up because even though you can look while you're doing the FPS stuff, when you turn your head using the head tracking, you don't walk in that direction. You still have to turn the mouse. So it can be, um, just a little bit jarring when you use the head tracking with um, with the FPS. Now there are a few ways that you can set this thing up. You can set this, set this up to work over Wi-Fi, and you can also set this up to work over, uh, over USB. I currently have mine set up over Wi-Fi because it's easier for me and I don't have to plug my phone into the computer because I'm already at a USB port. I have so many things plugged into my computer right now. I don't have any more space. Um, so this works easier for me and the, and the response is actually really, really good. You know, I'm moving my head back and forth right now and it's, it's pretty on point for being over Wi-Fi, which is nice. Okay. So let's go in here into our Moby glass. I do have it set up in my Moby glass to where I, it does have the, the look around and it does kind of give that VR effect, which is cool. And the cool thing about it as well, for me at least is. I don't have to necessarily um, worry about using a VR headset, even though like VR is not supported in this game, but using a VR headset, like sometimes you, you don't have the spatial awareness. And I really prefer this over that, you know, to have that uh, spatial awareness to be like still, to still be like in my room, but have that immersive experience. I'm just going to go here, grabbing the contract for you guys. And we'll probably just do one more mission. Call it a video. But again, the, the apps are called smooth track for your phone 
either Android or iOS, and uh, open track for your computer. I did plan on buying uh, some Panthers for my Scorpius, but we're here on PTUs and it seems like a lot of things in the shops are not working, at least on this server. I haven't tried to buy anything else, but it seems like at least for right now, you can't buy anything. So I'm stuck with the, the four size twos, which is not, which is not great when you're doing these beacons, you wanna be able to kill things quick. that immersion level 9,000 went ahead and grab this last one even though I'll probably fail it just because I just wanted to show more uh, more combat with with this head tracking how useful it actually is I wish I had my Panthers. I need Panthers for this.
Oh god, if I had my weapons right now, I could lay into him. Guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making this video for you guys. And if you could do me a favor, leave a like, a comment, subscribe to the channel. Also, check out my spring store. I have some Star Citizen merch on there that I made, some good memes, some good meme shirts, and uh, any way that you can support the channel, I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.